Shots fired in Ukraine's port city of Mariupol. Government forces took back the city hall from pro-Russian separatists Thursday. One man was reported injured. Control of the building exchanged hands several times this week as East Ukraine moves towards a Sunday referendum on independence. Separatists voted unanimously on Thursday to move ahead with the vote as planned. They defied a call by Russian President Vladimir Putin the day before to postpone the vote and to give dialogue with the central government a try. The decision not to postpone the referendum was passed 100 percent. The referendum will be held on May 11th. People want it to be held. People are preparing for it. It's not a local committee, but ordinary people reporting on their progress, preparing for it. People call and say, we are only waiting for ballots so that people can come and vote. Government troops continue to patrol around the rebel stronghold Slavyansk. Russia says its troops along Ukraine's border have pulled back from the frontier, a possible sign the crisis might finally begin to de-escalate. But NATO, the U.S. and the U.K. have all said they see no evidence of a Russian withdrawal. NATO Secretary General Anders Rasmussen in Poland said NATO members worried over Ukraine can feel safe. Anybody who would try to test allied Solidarity will fail. With Wednesday's rebel vote, eastern Ukraine seems to be hurling towards independence. Sunday's referendum on all-out self-rule could potentially pitch the country into war.